Springfield to Westfield. So its goal, its goal was to start in the on the Russell Westfield border, mm -hmm. the town border. It would follow the Westfield River out into Norwich, which is now the center of Huntington. From that location, it would hook up to the west branch of the Westfield River, and then would it came right through here. It would continue <laughs> up into Beckett, and it would connect with a Beckett turnpike that then would connect to, to Pittsfield. So that was their method of going from Westfield to Pittsfield. It, it, so that um, the the uh, I I don't know the exact location, but the one they were trying it's confusing because the Beckett Turnpike was incorporated three years later. I don't know the name of the turnpike they were trying to connect to, but it went from basically the center of Beckett, I mean the old center where the church is and the town hall is, and it went out from date into Washington and then Hinsdale, and then you could pick up a road into Pittsfield. Pontusic Turnpike runs through there. It, it would have followed Route 20, up, and, and at a point, I think it probably went up, we tried to go Wade in Road. Wade in Road, yeah. So, um, it was a great potential for Chester factories, you know, this might, might be a way that they can now develop. And even better is that the legislation allowed for three toll gates on the 8th Massachusetts Turnpike, and a location they selected right there at the Walker Brook Bridge, right where it crosses Walker Brook. And that led to the creation of the Georgian house that we saw on the 